there's there's so much information coming out scientifically uh, as far as uh, molecular biology that we are now understanding a lot more how the malignant cells work, what they need in order to, to thrive, and how we can stop that growth with natural elements. So more and more we're finding out that we can actually impact the growth of cancer with nutrients and food rather than chemotherapy and radiation therapy. It is very hopeful for, for cancer patients when they understand that they have other tools that they can use either together with uh, a conventional therapy or instead of conventional therapy. Information is one thing, but information is very powerful. But if the information doesn't inspire you to make the changes, it's of no value to you. You, know, you, can, you, you can be reading something, oh, this is great. But if, if it doesn't make me uh, apply that information and inspire you, no. And so one of the, I think that one of the most important things that I do in my daily life in, in dealing with my patients, in, in talking to my patients, in working with my patients, is to inspire them to make the changes and that there's truly a tremendous amount of hope behind everything that we're doing.